Hey ladies and gents, uh, so I haven't made a hair dyeing video since last year, would you believe? So, sorry, I'm filling around with the gloves, but basically um, I'm just going to re-dye my hair. I only have two weeks left of having it, uh, not even, like a week, but because I have to go back to brown uh, when school starts up again. But basically I was like, yeah, let's film me dyeing my hair. Uh, so my hair gets very greasy like the second day after I wash it, so if anyone knows why that is... Like, I don't use a lot of conditioner. In fact, I used the Louvain Carnier one or whatever it was. The, the, the gold blend for dry, dull hair. Because it's exactly what I have. It just looks like porn. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so, I'll show you in a sec what I'm using. And I'm in my room, which probably isn't a good idea to dye anyone's hair in their room. But fuck it. So, I'm using Crazy Colour Emerald Green. Uh, I've used Crazy Colour every time I've dyed my hair. So, well, not every time. I didn't use it for the red, I used Directions and then I used some other brand because Directions didn't stick. So this lasts surprisingly like long, like two weeks I'd say, uh, and you just need to keep topping it up. So right now my hair is at a horrible lime green, not even lime, like like dead grass green. So I'm just gonna, gonna top it up and we're gonna have loads of fun. So I have like an old bowl, so let's just do the aesthetic -y thing that hair dyers do, which, is this so it comes out like a, a disgusting green i'm sorry i'm sorry it's like a horrible gross green but you usually leave it in for around 40 minutes once you do dye it so let's go oh, i am going to talk about comparing and contrasting um uh good dye young with uh crazy color so good dye young it's really expensive to ship overseas. I'm sorry, Good Dye Young, I love you, but it's really expensive. Uh, the texture of Good Dye Young's hair dye, uh, when I was getting it dyed, my hairdresser was explaining it to me. It's a lot drier than some hair dyes. Uh, it's it soaks it soaks up the moisture in your hair uh, completely the minute it touches your hair. So it makes it feel like it's very dry. It's really good, but it's very light. It wasn't exactly what I wanted at the beginning but like I grew to love it uh, really I, I know my review may not have seemed very honest but trust me it was so the difference between crazy color and any other hair uh, difference between uh, good dye young and crazy color is that like I said, the textures are different, but also the like what's considered lime is quite different too. So this is like emerald and it, it kinda it doesn't really look emerald when it comes out, I'm gonna be honest. I'll show you guys obviously when it's done. It's definitely a pain. Also, can we talk about how long my undercoat is getting? I, <laughs> I'm i planning on growing it out. I'm not even planning, I am growing it out. Um, and it's certainly taking a while. It's gonna be like, it took me, what, like a year and a bit to get to this length of my hair? <laughs> I don't wanna have to go through that freaking process again because it is so annoying. Like growing, if anyone has ever had like short hair and is attempting to grow it out, don't do the undercut thing. Okay, I tried it and it's annoying. So as much as I love my undercut, half the time I have it, it's like, half the time I had it, it was just really big and it made me feel like I had lost a lot of my hair, strangely enough. So I don't know, it's probably not great. It's probably not what I should feel towards it, but it's the way it was. So, Essentially, I hated my hair uh, for a good while because, yeah, like I said, it made me feel like I didn't have a lot of hair and I still feel like my hair is quite thin from it and I, I just, I regret doing it. I really do. Sorry, I'm looking in the viewfinder. I have a mirror in front of me, by the way, so if anyone's wondering. By the way, I really hope I've gotten the back because I can't actually see what I've done. Uh, I'm just praying and hoping to God that I've gotten the back part. So I'm gonna pin this side up. Now 
Now that bit's done, yay, on to the other bit of my hair. So I'm probably just gonna speed this bit up because I have nothing to talk about. And if I do figure something out, uh, I'll, I'll stop it. I remember looking up loads of stuff about like green hair dye and the, the results of it. No one has ever really done a green hair dye review. I'm sorry, not that I can see. No one has really done one and um, it's doing my head in. I was like, I wanna find out what color it fades to, like what different brands fade to. No one had reviewed anything for crazy color. No one had reviewed anything for directions. No one had reviewed anything for Good Die Young, of all things. So I was the first person to review Good Die Young's uh, Kawabunga. So that's pretty interesting. And they didn't even put me in their, um, their public community playlist thing that they do. Thing that they have, I guess. I still have a bottle of red hair dye. Actually, not red, it's like pink. Guys, by the way, if Crazy Colors uh, fire hair dye, um, it won't turn your head <laughs> red. It'll, it'll turn it pink. It turns your hair like a darkish pink. Uh, it's not a good color. Um, I was gonna use it on my friend Chris. Um, and we were dyeing the front bits of his hair red. By the way, I would not recommend using Directions hair color uh, in red. Uh, unless you want it to literally be gone in the first wash. So that's the annoying thing about them is that they don't stick at all. Hair dye at its finest, am I right, ladies? <laughs> I'd like to see a guy with dyed green hair. Oh, I saw this really cool punk guy in town yesterday. And uh, his hair was like half orange. Like, it, it was like a mohawk, but on the sides it was like orange and on the top it was like yellow or something. I can't really remember, but it looked really cool is all I'm gonna say. Oh, I look like a woman from like the 1850s. Anyway, uh, that's the green hair dye, so I'm gonna let that sit for about 40 minutes and uh, I'll get back to you. Hey guys, so I have a towel wrapped around me, uh, so I'm not naked, but this is what it looks like wet after I washed it out and then put shampoo and conditioner in. So it's already looking so much better. So I'll get you guys back when it's dry. And your boy's hair is finished, so um, you guys have obviously seen my hair, what it looks like this colour in different videos, but yes, I am very happy, obviously with the results, because I've done this like three times now, but um, yeah, so this is what it looks like on Emerald's bleached grass hair. This is what it looks like and what it comes out like. So not as dark as it advertises, unfortunately, but maybe that's just because I had like a much lighter colour on my hair beforehand. Anyway, this is the result. I hope you guys like this video and please do suggest more if you have any uh, suggestions and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.